What's good, YouTube? I'm going to here, back again once again. Today, people, today we're back for episode number five of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Let's Play. Our brand new Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Let's Play. And the hype is still real. I am still so hyped because in the last episode, you guys, we made our way through Pendleburg Woods here to Rustboro City. And in today's episode, in today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, we will be taking on Roxanne for our first Hoenn Gym League badge. I am so hyped, I cannot wait. And, 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 we have a special surprise at the end of this episode as well. So you definitely want to stick around until the very end because you don't want to miss out on what we got planned. Either way, if you guys are hyped for today's episode of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, make sure you smash the hell out that like button down below for us. If you are a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you destroy that like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. Your support is everything on this Let's Play. And of course, if you guys know somebody, a friend or whoever who is not a member of the Nappy Nation, but you think they would be at home here with us, Make sure you share the video with them. Let them know. Say, hey, yo, hey, yo, dog, hey, yo, dog, check this Pokemon video out. I mean, you know, I know you like Pokemon. I know you like Pokemon, but check this out right here. Nappy Nation salute. Either way, you guys, let's get a quick party recap before we get into today's episode. As you can see, we have our Beldum, who's level 10, and we can't re nickname him right now, but, um, I'm pretty sure the name raider is in Slateport City. I think so. We're not too far away from it. Of course, you know, a lot of you guys already know we're going to nickname him, but still, if you don't know, I'm going to save it until then. But he's level 10 right now with Hold Back, Iron Head, Zen Headbutt, and Iron Defense. He's a nice and impish nature, which is amazing for a Metagross. I'm, I'm, I'm EXK static. Ecstatic over that. Our next team member is Alex Luis, our Mudkip, our starter, who's level 11. He's got Tackle, Growl, Water Gun, and Mud Slap. He has a nice and powerful Jolly nature, which is awesome. This is just amazing for a Swampert because you got a thing. Mega Swampert, Mega Swampert, Mega Swampert, get Swift Swim in the rain, already speeds him up. Jolly's gonna make him outspeed other Swift Swimmers if the case happens to be that. You know, he goes up against another Swift Swimmer. So that's just amazing. Like, it's, uh, honestly, I would prefer to have Adamant because Swift Swim speeds him up as it is. But Jolly's not terrible either. It's it's still it's, it's just it's great. It's great. It's great. And last but not least, we have Rollo, who is our level 10 Poochiena. Poochiena, Poochiena. He's got a hidden ability being Quick Feet, and he also has Fire Fang, which is an egg move because he was a sneak encounter back on was it Route 101, I think it was. Yeah, Route 101. Uh, but either way, he's rocking Fire Fang, Howl, Sand Attack, and Bite. He's holding Orange Berry. I gotta get Orange Berries on these other two as well. Um, but he is an adamant nature, which is amazing for him as well. So we have three physical attackers, which we need to change that up sometime soon. But for right now, it's all we've got, and we're gonna work with what we've got. Let me see, do we have, we have nine orange berries. Oh my lord. Okay, let's make sure we choose give. <laughs> let's make sure we choose give. Give him the orange berry as well. And even though we had, well, no, we said this last episode. Um, Alex Luis, even though he is... Technically a physical attacker. He will be a physical attacker. He's still rocking water gun right now, which is special. Look at this, you guys. Look at this for good way to go into the gym. Oh my lord. Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. Oh my goodness. And let me see. Let me see. Let me see on this area now. Did you guys notice? Can I can we can we not? I guess we can't. But on the area nav, and I'll point it out when we get to a different um, can I get out of there? Yeah, when we get to it a different route, the area nav on the bottom screen actually shows you the original third gen graphics from Ruby and Sapphire. I didn't notice it until I was editing the uh, previous episode, but it does. It shows you the previous third gen graphics. That is insane. That is insane. It's just little attention to detail like that just makes the game even better. But enough lollygagging and fooling around. The time has come. We're about to enter this gym, yo. I'm so hyped. Look at this gym! That's Roxanne! Hello. You must be a new challenger. I am Roxanne, the Rustboro City Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I may apply and battle all that I've learned at the Pokemon Trainer School. If you defeat me in a Pokemon battle, I'll present you with a gym badge as proof of your strength as a trainer. Please take up the challenge. I look forward to seeing you as a challenger. Until then, farewell. Get your hands off your hips. You had all that in the bag of potato chips. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what homeboy has to say here. 
Clyde the guy. Hey, yo, nigga, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become the champion? I'm no trainer. Oh, no, not me. Not me, mister. But I can show, give you winning advice. Then that's settled. That's settled then. I read it backwards. We're laying for the Pokemon Championship together. It's your job as a trainer to collect badges, am I right? But gym leaders aren't pushovers. Then that's where I come in. I'm here to provide expert advice. Rock said the gym leader here is a use our rock type Pokemon. The rock type is a very durable, but it can't stand water and grass type moves. Come see me afterwards if you beat the gym leader. Well, I'll go for it. What the hell are you gonna give me afterwards, bitch nigga? Bitch nigga. But yo, look at her gym. Look at the Kabutops' claws moving. Look at the little leaps, eyes blinking. That is so sick. Oh my lord. Oh my god, this gym. This gym is literally a museum. And of course, they give you the chance to uh, skip the trainer, but we're not skipping any trainers. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We're not skipping. We're not skipping any trainers. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, buddy. You in this gym training? I'm in this gym training. You get that ass whooped. Youngster Josh sent out a Geodude. So this will be our first test to see if Beldum is ready for this. Beldum, art thou ready? Art thou prepared to put in nothing but the finest of work? Catch this Iron Head. Oh, it's level 7. Nigga, what the hell? Nice and sturdy. Are you kidding me? That's sturdy? It looks like more than 1 HP to me. Nice and 1 damage. It's not very effective. <laughs> I would use that headbutt to finish them off because since this is a rock type gym, I want to save my iron heads. I mean, we can leave the gym anytime we want, or should we act like this is Pokemon Sweet all over again? Where you're in the gym and you can't leave. Geo dude, oh, are we gonna switch? Whatsoever shall we do? I think we'll Iron Head. Bop! Oh my lord! Nice embodied! Oh my goodness! I I love I love our Beldum. I love Beldum. I love Beldum. You see, he's got the mini paw off his back right now. Just let him up fall, and you don't want to catch these paws! You don't want to catch these paws! Alright, so we beat the first trainer in the gym here. A stratum near Fall Arbor. There are a few though there are a few of the Hoenn's best fossiliferosis. Well, well, well. There there are a few of the Hoenn's best fossiliferous fossil fossiliferous. I can't read. Strata around Fall Arbor. I cannot read. What the hell's wrong with me? I knew that word. What is wrong with me? A callow stone. This stone was apparently excavated from a location known as Glittering Cave. Ooh, the cross references are real, nigga! Look at this gym, though! I love how it changed from a museum into like an actual cave, like an excavation site. That's so powerful. I cannot wait to see the other gyms in the region. Oh my goodness! Nice and Geodude, eh? Nice and Geodude, 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 Geodude. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, these are the only two trainers in her gym, unless they added a couple. Sure. Can we just body this Geodude to move on, please? Please, 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 defense girl. That ain't saving you, bitch, nigga. We have not gotten any flinches yet. We use Zen Headbutt and, well, we use Zen Headbutt to kill like we are now. But we use Iron Head. We have not gotten any flinches yet. And that is very, very upsetting. Because I want to get some flinches. I want to get some flinches. So Beldum is now level 11, which I guess is decent. Because level 10 is technically under level for his gym. I just figured with a team of three being level 10, we should be good to go. Let us see. Oh, she's got another gym trainer. What the hell? Was there three trainers in her gym before? Why am I only, am I getting her mixed up with Brock, another rock type trainer? I don't, I'm, whatever. 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 School kid Georgia. All they have is Geo dudes. Yo, Roxanne, you need to teach these kids a little bit better. Let them evolve into into Graveler or something. But just to have them with Geo dudes. Yo, that ain't cool. That ain't cool. I'm gonna Zen headbutt this one. Beldum is loafing around. You gots to be kidding me right now. Beldum turned away. You gotta be kidding me right now. So because he's a traded Pokemon, technically, he's not one that we caught. He's not gonna listen to us. At the one time that we need him to listen to us, he doesn't want to listen to us! You gotta be kidding me right now. <sighs> I guess it means we have to rely on Alex Luis. In this gym, then, since Bell don't want to act all crazy now. I swear, these kids grow up these days, and they just think they know everything. All right, Alex Luis. I need you to come through, yo. 
I need you to come through. This is powerful, powerful water gun. I mean, you can mud slap him if I really wanted to. Mud slap him and do the same damage. Or you can get up out. You can get up out. Nice and crit. 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 That upsets me. I was hoping we could use Beldum in the first gym. Ah, oh, Beldum. Well, I mean, I guess it's better that he did now instead of waiting for us to actually get into the gym battle. And then he does that. Acts like a child. Acts like a child. Okay, but just to be sure, just to be sure, I'm going to use one of the potions that we have. I don't want to use, I don't want to use an orange berry just yet. I'm going to use one of the potions that we have to heal both of them up because you never know there might be that one time you know if anything happens to Alex Luis we don't have revives or anything like that but it might be that one turn where he actually decides to listen and it all goes well and whatnot oh my goodness why is this so intimidating look at this oh my goodness okay you guys already know what I'm about to say only you can prevent lost save data so make sure you save that game before anything crazy goes down and I don't know about you but I'm ready to take on Roxanne let's go oh my goodness Look at this! The cinematic! Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Just as I had expected. I knew you and your Pokemon would be able to get this far. Now, would you kindly demonstrate how you battle with your Pokemon? Yo! Yeah, let's go! Listen to the gym leader theme. Look at rocks! Look at the background! The rocks going everywhere! Oh my goodness! Okay, so she leads with a Geodude. 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 Does, does she only have two Pokemon? Yeah, she's got Geodude and Nosepass. Nosepass is her ace. Yo, you can see the Kabutops in the background, too! Look at this battle arena! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am... I am just beside myself right now. I'm sorry, yo. Really, Sturdy? Come on, yo. Come on, y'all. Come on, yo. Yo, did the, the, the last turn of the gym not have Sturdy? Why did that do so much? Explain to me why that did so much. It's just rock throw. Woosah, calm down. And of course, Orenberry came through. Please heal your Pokemon. Heal your Pokemon. Use a potion. There you go. There you go. There you go. Is that going to take her back up all the way up, though? No. Okay, good. So Sturdy's not reactivated. Get up out. Get up out, bitch, nigga. Get up out. Only downside is we've lost. Uh, we have a speed drop. I don't think. I, I don't know. Nosepass is going to be a higher level than we are. So it'll be interesting to see if he passes. Because I don't think Nosepass is that fast to begin with, is he? I don't think he is. I don't think he is. Yes or not. By the way, uh, I'm afraid to go out. He wants to learn foresight. The hell? No, nigga. No, nigga. What the fuck? Uh, I don't know if I want to send in Beldum because doesn't Nosepass have Magnet Pool? So if Beldum doesn't listen to us, then he's just going to have to stay in there until he faints, basically. And that could be a very, very long time with Nosepass being a Nosepass. I'm just saying. Nosepass, yeah, he outspeeds us now. God damn it. But I don't think he's going to be able to do a whole lot of damage to us, so. Alex Luis, come through! Alex the Weeks come through, through! Alex the Weeks come through! I'm gonna mud slap. It's not stab, but it is super effective. And I might have to pop out a potion. For the first time in our Alpha Sapphire Let's Play so far, we're gonna have to use a potion. But I mean, it's nice because it lowers his accuracy. So maybe he can start missing a couple of these tackles. I'm gonna go for one more mud slap, and then I think it's time for us to heal. You're just joking and vibing, Alex the Weeks! I see you, big dog! 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 Well, we can go for another one if we really want to, since he's juking and vibing. Oh, and now you want to hit. And now you want to hit. He only did six damage with it. I mean, seven damage with it. So we can live another one if we really wanted to. But I'm not playing the game of fate because that'll be the one time we get critted. That happened to Rallo a couple episodes back. I ain't going for that again. So let's go ahead and uh, go for a potions. I mean, since we got potions out the behind, we might as well. Might as well, might as well, might as well, might as well. Look at little Alex Luis. Why does he look so good in this game? Like, I feel like this is just like new game syndrome. Where it's just like anything and everything just looks amazing. Looks so much better than X and Y. Just because it's the new game. You know what I mean? So, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And we're still juking and vibing. Which I will proudly take. Nice and lower accuracy. Your accuracy's been lowered four times now, bruh. Give it up, man. Give it up. Give it up. Look at Jukin and vibing. Oh, my lord. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Get up out. Get up out. I love the, like, the camera angle. Like It's not necessarily just like 1v1 now. Now it's like on an angle and whatnot. So it, I, it's just amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. All right. Yeah, you have so much more to learn, Mr. Roxanne. You little snotty stuck up. I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state that the trainers receive this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League stone badge. 
Stone badge, eh! Stone badge, eh! Eh! A stone badge, eh! I like how they have the pin on the back, so it actually looks like a badge now. The stone badge enables Pokemon to use the HM move cut outside of battle. All Pokemon up to level 20, even those you get in trades, will also obey you. And please, take this with you too. I rock to, yo! I got rock to, yo! The move Rock 2 not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks, it also lowers their target speed. If you use a TM, it instantly teaches the move to a Pokemon. You can use a TM as many times as you want, so please try it out. Woo! So I think we had the, the an easy time with that because we just had type effectiveness. And if Belden was still around- Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 homeboy said to talk to him. Wait, 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 no, 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 no! Mm. Hey, yo, out of my way, move it! Oh god damn it. Wait, please! Don't take those parts! <sighs> I wasn't ready to deal with you just yet, bruh. I like how they stop him right there and you can still see him between the two buildings. Whoa! What a yo <laughs> my bad, wrong voice. Why did he sound like a like a Calif Californian? What's the term? He sound like a surfer dude for a second. Hey, yo, nigga! What a, what a breathtaking victory! My cheering must have worked! Great, check your trainer car! The stone badge you got should be recorded on it. In other words, you climbed the first steps on the stairs to the championship. Very promising! That's all he wanted to say. I thought he was gonna give us something crazy good or something. I don't know, that's whatever. Anyways, I think we're going to hold off on doing a lot of exploring of the city for right now. But, at the same time, Beldum should finally be listening to us. <laughs> Beldum should finally be listening to us, and I need to replace... Uh, Alex Luis's Ornberry as well. Need to go ahead and replace Alex Luis's Ornberry. 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 So let's go ahead and replace his Ornberry right now before we forget. And, as a matter of fact, you guys, I promise you guys something special at the end of today's episode. And what we're going to go ahead and do, as you can see, we're finally connecting to the PSS for the first time. Because every episode that we take on. A gym leader in. After we take on the gym leader, we're going to be having a Wi-Fi battle with another Pokemon content creator here on YouTube. And before anybody even suggests a whole bunch of people, I already have the next couple lined up. But uh, the way we're going to do it is I'm going to be battling other Pokemon YouTubers as they're going through their own uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Let's Plays, and we're going to be battling with in-game teams. So that means that we have to be battling other YouTubers that are at, 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 like um that are at like the same progress in the game as we are because you know even though when you go on Wi-Fi and all the levels are set to 50 I'm still not gonna stand a chance if I have a Mudkip and I go, go up against somebody with like a Grovile or a Metagross or you know somebody that's like on the 8th badge or something like that you know just their Pokemon overall are gonna be better because the stats and whatnot so today we're gonna be battling the actual Hex God himself the Heated Mo, and hopefully he's paying attention to his 3DS and he's ready to battle. Let's see if he is or not. I don't know. Let's cross our fingers and hope we're ready to go. I hope we don't get absolutely destroyed. Spoiler alert. We had a Wi-Fi battle on our Pokemon Y Let's Play. Moe's here. In our Pokemon Y Let's Play. And it was against JYT Gamer. And he bodied us. So hopefully this time around, we don't get bodied. At least we put up a fight and whatnot. Um, of course, we can only use... Oh, I wonder what the music choices are here. Of course, once you beat the game, you're going to get something new. I guess we'll just do a different one each time. We'll go with music number one for right now. Um, but because we only have three Pokemon, I know he's doing a Wonderlock, and he has a few more Pokemon than we do, but he's only going to choose three Pokemon as well. See, he's using his in-game team right now. He told me he's going to bring his Haxmons, and that kind of sort of scares me a little bit. But if he brings his Pharaoh Seed, we have Fire Fang Rollo for it. He said he has double team on one of his Pokemon, and I'm guessing that's his Surskit. I know he has Swagger on his Saviper, and I think his Ralts has Confusion. I'm gonna lead with Beldum, because if he leads with, like, his Saviper and Swaggers me, it's fine. Actually, if he Swaggers anybody, it's fine. We're, we're all physical attackers, so I'll take it. And Mo doesn't know that we have Orin Berries. Let's hope Mo doesn't have Warren Berries. <laughs> Let's hope Mo doesn't have Warren Berries. He probably does because Mo's not an idiot, but still. So he's going to lead with his Shroomish. I see you, big dog. Okay. See, why can't Shroomish be part? Mm. He's going to. I know he's going to stun spore me. I know he is. 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 I'm going to iron hit him right off the bat. Why not? See, look at him. Look at him. Why do you have to be like that, Mo? <sighs> Why you gotta be like that, though? 
Why you gotta be like that, though? And a turn one he gets. I know he's hackling right now, like an evil witch. This is the Hax God himself. <sighs> We're gonna get hacked out by the Hax God. He's got Leech Seed on this thing, too? You gotta be kidding me, Mo! Oh my god. Well, we're not gonna get any flinches. It does decent damage, but it's gonna be hard to, to handle this. It's gonna be hard to handle this if he's getting health back with Leech Seed each turn. This is gonna be so annoying. Mm, I kinda sorta wanna... You know what? We'll switch out right now. Cause he's not gonna go for a Stun Sport or another Leech Seed right now. So he's gonna go for an offensive attack, at least hope he is. And then this turn, hopefully we'll outspeed and get a Fire Fang off. Mega Drain. Come on, Rallo. Eat it up, Rallo. Eat it up, Rallo. Eat it up, Rallo. Eat it up, eat it up, eat it up. And Mo doesn't know we have Quick Feet on Rallo either. So he might go for a Stun Spore, expecting me. Oh, that would be so good. Let's see if we can bait Mo. He withdrew. He knows. He knows. He knows. I mentioned to him that I have Fire Fang. Who did he go out to? It's a Viper. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Because can we get a burn? We can't get a burn. I feel like he's on a swagger right now. Question is, I mean, we're adamant right now. Adamant with swagger. Hmm. Let's go for bite. I know he's gonna swagger me. I know he. See, look at this. <sighs> if you guys don't know, Mo's uh, moniker, the Hacks God, came from a video that we did a long, long time ago on this channel. It's called Just Watch. If you go to the front of our channel and you and you Google it, not Google it, oh my, stop! <sighs> Swagger, are you kidding me? And he's gonna outspeed. Mo is loving this right now. Mo is absolutely loving this right now. He's loving this right now. <sighs> Anyways, um, it came from a video called Just Watch. If I remember, I'll include a link to it in the description. Of course, Mo's channel and Twitter are linked in the description as well. Like I said, he's doing an Alpha Sapphire Wonderlock on his channel. But, um, it was done, uh, his, his, his Hack Scott moniker came from a video that we did on this channel called Just Watch, where Mo, like, it was just joking around, and he made an attempt to really, come on, come on, come on, please don't hurt yourself, Alex Luis. There you go. Uh, and he didn't, he made an attempt to just be as annoying as he possibly could in the game. That's super effective, and it does that much damage. Come on, yo. And he just completely just destroyed me with hacks, and it was just so unbelievable, and I uploaded it, and there were people that were like, taking it such a serious Wi-Fi battle, like I uploaded it just to show how crazy the hacks was. And like I said, I'll link it if you guys want to check it out and if you haven't seen it. If I didn't link it, like I said, or if I forgot to link it, um, just search it up on the channel, it's called Just Watch. He's gonna withdraw, who does he have? He's gonna go out to Shroomish. Since I lost the Puccina, I mean, it's, it's, I don't have anything for this thing now. All I can do is go out to, uh, whatchamacallit, Beldum, and Beldum's paralyzed, so, and he's probably just gonna go for Leech Seed right now. I needed Rollo for this thing, and he, he knew I had Fire Fang. <sighs> Mo's loving this. I can't talk to anybody else, any other Pokemon YouTubers about my team. I can't say, oh, I got this, oh, I got this, oh, I got this, you know, yada, 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 I can't talk about all that. Uh, I don't even know what to do at this point. He's just gonna go for a leech seed. See? He's just gonna go for a leech seed, and he can Mega Drain all he wants now. Whether I stay in or swap out, Mega Drain's gonna body me. I needed Rollo. I needed to keep Rollo. Was that a crit? That couldn't have been a crit. No, it didn't say it was a crit. Huh. 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 So we can see what we can do here. He's gonna Mega Drain. He's doing everything he can to keep his health. Which is fine, 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 which is fine. I feel like we're about to get hacked to death right now. As long as we don't catch paralysis, because we're doing more with Iron Head than he's getting back with Mega Drain and Leech Seed. Which is good. And if we can get rid of this Shroomish, we can swap back into Alex Luis without having to worry about a whole bunch of stuff. Which is good, 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 which is good. Because Mega Drain's not doing anything at all. See, when we have these Wi-Fi, Orin Berry coming through! That Orin Berry coming through! How come the Orin Berry, the Orin Berry didn't pop on? There we go, get that special move up out. How come the Orin Berry didn't pop on Rallo? That's interesting, I, I wonder why, I wonder why, I wonder why, I wonder why. But he doesn't have Orin Berries, clearly. I feel like he's definitely gonna swagger. If he goes for the swagger, and 
We can break through confusion. Please. Please, Beldum. Please break through, break through confusion right now. Please break through confusion. I need you to break through confusion right now, yo. Please break through confusion. There we go. Let's go. Get him up out, Mo. Get him up out, Mo. Look at Beldum putting another but the finest of work. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have the advantage now. It's two to one. Who's his last Pokemon? A Ralt. He's gonna trace clear body. Doesn't matter. We're gonna try and lower his stats as it is. But all he's left back with is a Ralt now. And I'm pretty sure the only offensive move he has, he's gonna go for a double team. You son of a bitch. Double team Ralt. I need you to land one hit. Come on, Beldum. Beldum! No! Come on! I think he said the only move, the only offensive move he has on this uh, Ralts though is confusion. So he's just gonna spam the hell out of. Oh, uh, come on! Eat it up! 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 I swear! Snap out of confusion! Let's go! Let's go! So we can have the increased stats. <laughs> we won our first Wi-Fi battle! We won our first Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle! Oh my goodness! I didn't think it was gonna happen after Rallo went down. But we 2-0 Mo, so it's like we're taking on the gym leaders, and at the same time we have like secondary gym leaders as the YouTubers. So as of right now, when it comes to our YouTube battles, we are 1-0, and I am happy, I am happy, I am happy. We got past the Hacks God himself. And like I said, Mo's channel and Twitter will be linked in the description, he's doing an Alpha, Alpha Sapphire Wonderlock over there, so definitely make sure you guys go check him out. And thank you to Mo Heat for being our first PokeTuber. Wi-Fi battle on the series, but like I said, after every gym leader, we're gonna take on a new PokeTuber. You guys can suggest a million people if you want, but I already have like the next three or four lined up. But with that, we've accomplished a lot in today's episode. We got our, our first gym badge, we won our first Wi-Fi battle, and all that good stuff. And I'm happy, and I'm hyped. But we're gonna go ahead and wrap up today's episode right here. If you guys enjoyed this episode of our Alpha Sapphire Let's Play, make sure you smash that other like button down below for us. If you're a proud member of the Navi Nation, make sure you smash that other like button down below for us, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. Your support is everything on this Let's Play. And of course, if you got a friend or two friends or whatever, and they're not a member of the Nappy Nation, go ahead and let them know about it and see if they can join the Nappy Nation as well. But with that, I'm gonna get about. Thank you all so much for your support, and thank you for checking out the video. You know me, YouTube Nappy 92. Uh, I'm out.